guys, OmniWrath here, and I'm going to be talking about my holy shotgun build for the Crusader. So first off, we got to get one thing out of the way here. Um, it is not uh, Shield Glare. Uh, this build does require a specific item to be effective. That is the Fate of the Fell two-handed flail. It's legendary. Um, and what this does is it's got the special bonus there where you gain two additional rays of Heaven's Fury. So you can see I'm using Heaven's Fury here with the Fires of Heaven rune as a, my primary nuke ability. And uh, what it does by default is just fires out this rather unimpressive beam that does a lot of damage but um, doesn't hit a very big area. But when we put the uh, flail back on, uh, now we're doing this nice big conal effect there that allows us to hit a large number of mobs at one time and do massive damage to them um, in the process. So that, that item is required to make this build work. Uh, the rest of the stuff is your um, generic, um, can have you know fairly generic stats on them. You want crit, uh, hit chance, crit hit damage, strength, um, vitality, you know, defensive stats where that where it's appropriate. Um, got some trifecta gloves here uh, on the shoulders and chest piece. If you can get heaven's fury damage, that's great. The uh, the shield as well. Uh, on your amulet, holy damage is fantastic. Bracers, holy damage, and crit chance. You know, you want the crit stuff and strength here. Um, in your helmet, you could do a uh, vitality socket or a or a diamond diamond or amethyst in there. I'm using uh, Magic Find in mind just because I'm comfortable with that on Torment 2. Uh, it's working out for me nicely. So that's, that's uh, your gear is fairly standard, what you would expect, uh, and as, you know, as well items as you can get. Um, the Reaper's Wraps, they're not, um, they're not a requirement for this build, but they are extremely helpful. You see the special ability there, the Health Globes restore 30% of your primary resource. Because we're using so much Wrath in this build, uh, that actually comes in very handy uh, to restore the wrath. And because each elite pack, every mob in the elite pack is guaranteed to drop, I think it's guaranteed, if not, it's very close to it, uh, to drop a health globe, you actually uh, keep that resource up real nicely moving in between packs. Um, and even normal mobs drop them frequently enough that you're usually not uh, wrath starved. Uh, but it can happen, be ready for it. Uh, you can be wrath starved with this build. That is one of the cons. Uh, on the, on the opposite side of a lot of pros. And also with my shield here, I've got uh, more Heaven's Fury damage crit on it. This is purely offensive shield. Uh, I would love to have had some uh, Vit on here instead of the area damage, but you take what you can get, right? My shield there now hits all enemies around me. That's uh, extremely exciting for this build, and we'll talk about that more in just a second. Uh, I've also got my Ring of Royal Grandeur. The stats on it are not that great, but uh, the special bonus on there allowing me to get um, three-piece bonus of so my canes here with only two pieces and my black thorns four-piece with only three is extremely convenient uh, so I have to use it until I get a better version of it. And so as you can see with this setup I'm at a million damage and just shy of seven million toughness. Uh, that toughness is more than enough for torment two as long as your damage is this high. Um, for higher levels uh, you're going to have to change your gear up a bit to find uh, a better balance. Uh, I've used this build through torment three and four uh, but it, it slows down. I'd much rather use it on Torment 2 and uh, cruise through and pick up my legendaries. Let's take a look at the skills here. I'm using Punish with Celerity uh, for the increased attack speed as my Wrath Generator. I don't have to use this too often, but when I do need to use my single target attack for Wrath Regeneration, I want it to be quick. Uh, alternatively, you might use Slash for a little more AoE. That's especially useful for Curse Shrines and Chests. Uh, because this build actually will have a little bit of trouble with that sustained fight against a bunch of weaker guys that are not dropping um, health globes very often. So if you find that you're having trouble or with um, with curse shrines and chest, pick up slash uh, probably slash crush or something like that until you're a little more comfortable with the build or until you're better geared. Uh, Heaven's Fury fires ahead. We already talked about that. Steed charge, um, pretty popular skill just for uh, the extra mobility, getting in and out of a fight. Certainly you can replace this with another skill to, to your taste. I happen to like Steed Charge for the mobility, so I keep it there. Provoke is crucial for restoring Wrath. Uh, and also I've got the Charged Up Rune on there. The Rune is fairly optional. Put whatever you want in it. Uh, I like the Charged Up just for the little extra damage. Uh, shield Glare, the Zealous Glare Rune is not optional. Uh, because we're using that shield that makes the shield glare hit everything around us in a 30-yard radius, 
uh, we can restore a ton of uh, wrath with this. Uh, in addition to obviously the nice defensive bonus of you know stunning everything around us for four seconds, uh, so it's really good. And it also goes nicely with um, maybe you've got some high mobility things trying to get some, hit something with your bombardment, some flyers or ghosts or something like that. A uh, shield glare with bombardment um, is quite effective. I have wrathful for uh, some just some sustained health regeneration there, considering how much wrath we're dumping. It actually turns out to be quite a lot of healing. Finery for an extra damage boost. Heavenly Strength is a no-brainer. Righteousness, uh, I like it a lot for the Maximum Wrath and the, the Wrath region. But if you happen to get uh, some w extremely well-itemized weapon and shield that have uh, good Wrath regeneration on them, then you might be able to dump that for something else, especially if you get a weapon that has Holy Damage on it. Then I would love to be able to drop, the, um, put in Holy Cause here for the extra damage and the extra healing. Uh, there's also room to squeeze Lord Commander in here. Maybe you drop Wrath, Wrathful as well there and put in Lord Commander for the extra mobility and damage it brings you. Um, there's a lot of flexibility here. The keys are Provoke and Shield Glare with the Zealous Glare rune and Fires of Heaven. Everything else, you can change it to your flavor, really. Um, except Heavenly Strength, obviously you can't get rid of that and you probably shouldn't get rid of Finery. So that's the gear, that's the build. Uh, let's go see it in action a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take the easy way out instead of trying to line up a um, instead of trying to line up a um, a riff that is an appropriate length for the video here. I'm just going to run and kill the butcher here. Uh, we actually got a blue pack right here, so that's cool. Um, you can see they just kind of fall over here. This is torment two, uh, and those guys just fell over. Now I cheated there and used my bombardment, but for that guy I didn't. I've got my nemesis bracers here, so. While we're here, we'll go ahead and pop a uh, an extra bad guy, yeah. You see, I'm able to spam it. Oh, shit. I just got a two-handed flail. That's fantastic. Uh, we'll stop and see what that is um, before we finish the video. Um, it would be nice if it's an upgraded version of what I got, but if it's the double bombardment one as well, that's also extremely exciting. So, um, geez. I think that's a storm shield I just got. Um, yeah, I'm glad I decided to do this instead of a rift, even though this is random and a rift would typically ex be expected to give me more. So you see, I'm able to cut through these guys pretty good. Uh, I'm running low on wrath right now. And, um, you know, with, when you're running between smaller packs like this, wrath can become an issue. But uh, my cooldowns come up often enough that it's not a problem, uh, typically. And um, so let's go find uh, the entrance here. It looks like I, I, went, I went the... The wrong way here, but uh, the wrong way just gave me two legendaries with some nice potential. That's not actually not a storm shield. That's the um, I forget the name of it, but I think it comes with five primary stats. So and I will tell you that in rifts, one of the cons of this is that when you're running around, if you've got to run around and kill off like one little enemy at a time, you know you got a bunch of little annoying mobs or things that are running from you, then you are going to suffer from a little bit of wrath starvation, and uh, you know, that's just, that happens. It's not usually enough to be annoying, though. It just depends on uh, the mob density. Against high mob density, you're never going to have to worry about anything. This is, you know, these guys are, you know, they're all just dying instantly. Here's another pack for us. And you see, as soon as I kill one of them, they, you know, it drops a, um, drops a health globe. And my bracers top me off with my uh, my wrath again, so really convenient. Here's another shrine over here. Oh, here's a goblin. I'm glad we found one of these. So I'm able to hit him with multiples of those. You see that one there that had like three of them crit. Jeez, man. Um, I wish I could have scripted this. Like I wish I was able to cheat the game and to plan to get like all these legendaries. Um, and I, and then I would tell you that it's only because this build is so good. That's why you're getting all these legendaries here. Let's uh, put my bracers on again. Pop this. Um, these uh, these little explosions here don't hurt me because of my black thorns four piece, uh, but that's again not related to the build. You could have that without the build. That's notice. That's the first time in all that I've been doing here where I've used my uh, my wrath generator, and I didn't need to. I would just. I don't know. I was just doing it for shits and giggles there, right? But if I was, if I needed to kill each of these guys because I was in a rift, then I would, I would definitely be using my wrath generator more. I 
right, here we go. So here we're we're approaching the butcher here. I'm gonna top off a little bit on uh, yeah wrath before I go in. So you can kind of get the idea of what it's like to burn down a rift boss uh, in here. Uh, the butcher unit's got a sizable amount of health there. Not ready yet. My wrath is low. Oh, my uh, my Templar starred uh, stunned him there right as he was about to charge the wall. So there we go. You know, it takes, what was it, like 30 seconds, a minute, something like that. Uh, all very reasonable times. Uh, Rift Guardians, uh, unless they're extremely mobile, will die in a similar amount of time. And uh, yeah, that is our build there. Uh, see, it's quite capable. Uh, this is Torment 2. My gear has a lot of room to improve. I think I'll easily be able to get to the point where I can move through Torment 3 or 4 with similar ease uh, with, uh, with the right upgrades and gear. Um, it may never perform quite so well in Torment 6 or something like that because you get to the point where it may not be able to burst that hard. But uh, I could be underestimating gear progression too, so we'll see. Uh, let's check out these legendaries. You know, we got the one-handed sword here. Not too exciting. It's not a Thunder Fury, right? But, uh, oh, it is a new uh, transmog for me, so that's cool. Got, yeah, it's not bad, really. I guess it's the, the damage rolls are bad. Everything else is good. Got this shield here. Save the exciting one for last. Yeah, the Defender of Westmarch. It's got five primary stats on it. Uh, the base block was really horrible, though, unfortunately. And then this uh, legendary two-handed flail. Let's check that out, and then we'll uh, we'll call it the Mortal Drama. That's cool. That's really cool. I have uh, been looking for those for a long time, and it actually is a really good roll on it. So you might see uh, a new video from me really soon. Either way, this has been Omni Wrath. Uh, you can follow me uh, on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, I'll put the link for my Twitch below. It's just twitch.tv uh, backslash Omniwrath or forward slash Omniwrath. Uh, thank you for checking out the video. I hope you like our Crusader here. Uh, holy shotgun build, as I've uh, been lovingly calling it. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.